Hey everyone, today we are going to be planting some willow cuttings. We'll be trying two different kinds here. So I took cuttings from a big down willow that had a whole bunch of shoots coming off of it. So these are like your stereotypical pencil to Sharpie size. But to get those, I had to cut, obviously, a whole bunch of these tops and stuff off of them. I have never tried planting these, but I figured since I had them, I put them in a separate bucket. We're going to try planting those as well. So what we're doing here, let me back up. So I've got this box blind that sticks out like a sore thumb. I'm gonna be doing a lot of work this year to try and brush this in, not only with planting these willows, but just using some other things to camo up the blind. So what we've got at the edge of my food plot here, you can see we've got this nice low spot um, that holds water or is just moist soil pretty much the entire year. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna plant a whole bunch of those stakes just all through here. And then I had some big, just dead ashes fall into my food plot. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of make like a little makeshift fence right on the dry side of the food plot with these branches, just to kind of keep the deer from browsing them. Um, so last year, I'll show you guys a couple that I planted last year that did pretty well in this area. So here's one. So this one is obviously still growing, but in the winter time, uh, the deer started nipping at these. They really didn't touch them all summer. Um, and I had multiple, I'm struggling to find a few of the other ones. Actually, here's one right here. You can see, I hope this one makes it. It looks like it will. It's still got buds on it and stuff. This is still green, but they nipped it all the way down to here. A lot of these were probably two to three feet last year. Um, so that's the game plan. All right, here's our little makeshift fence. So we're gonna stick the cuttings, not only in this wet stuff just on the other side of it, but we'll probably sprinkle them even just in between all these branches. And I'm kind of using this existing one, you can see it right there, as a model of just getting them up in between these branches and hopefully this is enough for their, to uh, deter the deer, at least to some extent and give these a chance to grow. Give us a nice screen here for our box blind. You guys can see I'm not doing anything special here. Make sure they're right side up. So if you see some of the little buds and stuff on them, those are pointing up. All we're doing, we're just sticking them down in the muck. That's it, about halfway down. Just keep doing that. You can see we got a whole bunch of them here. Going for speed and we'll see how many make it. All right, so we're done. We did all these, probably about 30 minutes. Um, There's quite a few in that bucket. I don't know exactly how many, but I would guess probably about 100 to 150. Right through here. So I will keep you guys posted on how these do. And then what we ended up doing with all those whips is I'm trying to make this little makeshift fence row in my food plot just to kind of segregate it and make it a horseshoe. So I had planted dogwood there last year and they actually did pretty well and then the deer browsed them. So I'm gonna try all those whips of, we can walk up here quick, all those whips of the willow. You can see I planted them probably about every six inches. These are kind of tricky. Um, you can't push them very far into the ground otherwise they just wanna snap in half. But a lot of them from just soaking in the bucket, I mean, they're already budding. None of them had roots yet. So we'll see how they do. I mean, the deer might browse these. And if they do, honestly, that's okay. I just wanna see if these will actually grow and take, take roots and work as another means to do cuttings, so. All right, everyone, it is June 8th. Just wanted to show you guys how our willows are doing here. Got one right there. And you can see there's a whole bunch of them and they're pretty much all growing. Um, I don't know if soaking them in a bucket for a week is kind of what helped or if it's just the fact that we've had a ton of rain here lately in Michigan. Um, but yeah, I mean, they're all doing really good. We've got one, um, I'll show you guys this one. It's a couple people who were asking on YouTube. Here is one from last year. This one right here. So it is probably on me. 
I mean, it is a little above. It's pretty much right at my belt line and I'm six foot three. So it's, you know, it's a good three feet or so. Um, lots of, lots of shoots coming out of the original cutting. If you see the original ones right here. So you got this big main one, a couple other little ones. But yeah, overall, this is doing really well. I mean, all these things are growing. If we come over here to our little makeshift fence row there, I don't know if you remember, but that's where I planted just all the tops of these cuttings. So I took your normal pencil size cuttings and those are all in the area we just looked at. And then I planted all the tops, the really skinny ones right here. And these are actually doing pretty good too. So it looks like most of them are growing. Which I was surprised. I didn't really know how these would do. Um, I mean, like, even this one is teeny tiny. But it's growing. So all in all, the willows are doing awesome. Here's another year two willow. And this one has all kinds of shoots coming up out of it. And I think it's because if you look at this one, it's not very tall. But the deer are, are browsing this one. The tops are pretty much nipped off on all of these bigger main ones. But it looks like that's making it just send up all kinds of new shoots. So this one's probably only, I don't know, 16 inches or so. And the other one over there where we've got some of the brush and stuff covering it up, that one's doing a lot better on year two. All right, that's it for our willow update. I just got a couple up by my house that were just kind of my test willows. Uh, those are about the same, you know, waist high growth for year two as this one right here in this food plot is. So I'm going to wrap up some food plot work, cut a few trails and things here before it gets dark. So thank you for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed the video. Remember, be a sportsman, make a sportsman.